So uh, one of my friends at work said to me, Steph, I went to my dentist's office to get a cleaning, and I, and I had the most beautiful dental hygienist. She is awesome. She's got the best figure I ever seen. <laughs> so I'm like, cool. I think I need to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> so anyways, I went home that night, and I ate a whole pack of Oreos. So anyways, the following day, I had oil stains all over my teeth, and I couldn't wait to go to my dentist's office to get my teeth cleaned by this beautiful, sexy devil. <laughs> so I get there, and all I see is a big, fat lady <laughs> with a beard. <laughs> My diarrhea goes away from all the cookies I ate, I'm gonna go back again. <laughs> so uh, yesterday I went to the um, ATM to get some money out and uh, I wasn't there even like 10 seconds and some guy popped out of the bushes with a freaking knife. So I'm looking at him, he's like, give me the money. I'm like, so you know what year it is? It's 2020. He's like, I don't care, give me the money. I said, I don't have any money. He's like, then what are you here for? I said, what are you here for? And then I looked at his knife, he had butter on it. So I kept staring at him, I'm like, you look familiar, don't you work at McDonald's? tell you how useless airport security is, TSA. So I'm coming back from visiting my family and I'm in the airport and I'm walking through this big x-ray machine and in my bag I had I had a uh, one switchblade, two handguns with two clips, I had one grenade and one machete. Just as I'm clearing the machine, someone said, hey, come back here. I'm like, oh, I'm busted. I'm going to jail. <laughs> so the guy, says, the guy says to me, we want to let you know that we saw two cavities when you're walking through, to get through this machine here. <laughs> I'm like... I got away with all that stuff, and they're worried about two cavities? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so I get on the airplane, and we're all seated and the plane's taken off. And uh, as the flight attendant came up to me with some water and crackers, <laughs> I asked her, how come is it that we can't dance on a plane? <laughs> She's like, excuse me? I said, yeah, how come we can't dance on a plane while we're flying? She's like, because this is a plane and not a cruise ship. I'm like, duh me. 
I'm such a moron. <laughs> she goes, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, when the plane landed, as we were clearing out the plane, I saw the captain saying goodbye to everybody. I'm like, hey, how come we can't dance in a plane? <laughs> So he's like, you must be the moron. <laughs> so the other day I was walking in a park and I witnessed a group of guys beating up on this one guy. As I walked over there, they ran. So I get this guy, and he had peed his pants while he was getting beat up. <laughs> I never saw nothing like it in my whole life. <laughs> so I'm like, you were so scared that you peed your pants. <laughs> He's like, I'm not scared. <laughs> like, why'd you pee your pants? He said, no. <laughs> he said, when they beat me up, I was on my way to the bathroom. <laughs> but I look around anywhere, there's no bathroom anywhere. It's like miles, no bathroom. <laughs> fight, there are certain things you do so they don't touch you. You can pee your pants, <laughs> or when you leave the house, make sure you got boogers coming out of your nose. <laughs> they will not punch you in the nose because they'll get boogers in their fist. Brush your teeth and don't take a bath. Nobody wants to beat up a dirty person. <laughs> I take a bath every day. I never leave the house with boogers in my nose. stuff and they say stupid stuff. Um, one day this guy comes up to me and I work with him for a while. He said to me, I got a secret. I'm like, stop, 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 stop. Every time you tell me you got a secret, you've already told 50 people. So what makes this a secret? <laughs> Years ago, I went up to my ex and I said, can I go out in this dress? <laughs> she said, yeah, go ahead. It's dark out now.
you run to the bathroom, use a toilet, and then run back to the bed so the monster doesn't get you. <laughs> adulthood. What can I say about adulthood? Adulthood is when you're in bed and you roll over, there's a monster right near you. <laughs> When my child was uh, very young, he said to me, What does a stork do after the baby's born? <laughs> I'm like, When the baby's born, the stork lays around the couch, eats snacks and potato chips, and fronts all day. <laughs> And then drinks beer. <laughs> when I was on a cruise one day with my ex, I overheard this couple talking on the deck. The wife says, But honey, I don't like you with the glasses on. <laughs> and the guy says, Sweetheart, I don't wear glasses. <laughs> and the wife goes, but I do. <laughs> so I just walked into my friend's house and uh, he was on the phone talking to someone, I guess it was some woman. And then I said to him, well, that was pretty quick. You guys hung up already? He's like, <laughs> I said, uh, Usually women talk about two hours. <laughs> He's like, nah, that was the wrong number. <laughs> so Roger asked me, why did you guys split up? I said, because she's a liar and a cheat. She always says she's at her sister, and I know she's not there. <laughs> and then Roger says to me, maybe she is there. I said, no, she wasn't at her sister's. And he's like, how do you know? I said, because I was there. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend's something else. She always told me I was one in a million. <laughs> then one day, I peeked at her text messages. She was right. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> so one old couple was sleeping in bed. And uh, the wife says, Jim, I can't sleep. <laughs> the husband rolls over and says, The evil never sleeps. Sometimes when I'm telling a joke, I, I tend to mix fiction with non-fiction. And this is going to be a non-fiction, which means it happened in my life. So, when I was about 16 years old, I said, walk to my cousin's house and pick him up to go take the bus and then go to school. We went to high school together for the first two years. <laughs> so, one morning I went to go pick him up, and I knock on the door, he lets me in. I'm like, you ready? We've got 15 minutes. It takes us 10 minutes to walk to the bus stop. <laughs> He's like, ah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be on time. No problem. <laughs> so I look at him. He's in the mirror combing his hair, picking his mustache, popping his zits. <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna be late. We have to walk two blocks to go, to go get the bus to go to school. He goes, we got plenty of time. <laughs> so he's got the hair spray going, doing his eyebrows, and he says, oh, we gotta go now. <laughs> so we both got our books in our hand, and we're running around the corner, and uh, <laughs> you gotta remember, it's snowing out. We have ice all over the road, it's snowing hard, and it's sleet everywhere. So as we're running to get the bus, we turn the corner, <laughs> and he's wearing dancing shoes. He's wearing dancing shoes to school. And what happens? He hits a patch of ice and he went across 
to the street, his books were sliding all over the place. <laughs> short afro so he had snow frost over his head his eyes all messed up I, his eyebrows got snow on it he's like oh man I think we're gonna miss the bus and I'm like I told you we're gonna miss the bus so he said it's okay we'll, we'll go to my friend's house and his father will drive to school <laughs> so we get there his father's house he's like oh how's it going hello sir can you take us to school we missed the bus I'm like, I'm like, it's because of you. We missed the bus. You're too busy looking glamorous on a damn freaking mirror. <laughs> <laughs>